Hi guys, this is Megha Verma. Welcome to my channel. So in today's tutorial, we will learn how to design this business card in Corel Draw. So without any delay, let's get started. So this is the size of our business card. Now first we will select the rectangle tool from the toolbar and we will draw a rectangle. Now we will set the size of the rectangle 3.5 by 2. Now we will set the align of the rectangle. First we will click on specified point then align center horizontally and align center vertically. Now we will select the rectangle and we will drag like this then right click to make a copy. Now we will drag the rectangle like this. Now we have these two rectangles. Now we will select this and we will fill color. You can see the color code. Now we will select the second and we will fill color. Now we will select both and we will remove the outline by right click. Now we have this company logo and the website. Now we will place this. Now we will increase the size of the logo and the company name. Now we will change the color of the logo. Now we will click now we'll select the website address now we'll rotate this on 90 degree now we'll place here now we'll change the color now we'll increase the size now we'll select with the rectangle and we will press C and E to align center now front side of our card is ready. Now we will design the back side. For that we will select both the rectangles and we will make a copy by drag and right click. Now we will adjust this rectangle. Now we will delete this one. Now we will select the rectangle and we will select interactive fill tool from the toolbar. Now we will select fountain fill. Now we will set the color. Now we will select conical fountain fill. Now we will select all this. Now we will make a copy by drag and right click. Now we will adjust the size. Now we will ungroup this. Now we will change the color of the logo. Now we will select all and we will place here. Now we will change the colors. Now we will adjust the size. Now we will select the rectangle tool from the toolbar and we will draw a small rectangle like this. Now we will press control key and we will drag like this then right click to make a copy. Now we will select polygon shape from the toolbar. Now we will draw the polygon shape like this. Now we will adjust the height. We will give the same height as rectangle to the polygon shape now we'll increase the size of this rectangle now we'll place this now we'll select rectangle and the polygon shape now we'll click on weld now we'll
now we have a shape like this now it's like this rectangle and we will double click now we'll drag like this now we'll adjust the size now we'll select both and again we will click on weld now we'll select interactive fill tool now we'll select fountain fill now we will set the colors now we'll remove the outline now we'll again select the rectangle tool now we'll draw a rectangle like this now we'll fill white color in the rectangle and we will remove the outline now we'll do control page down to send back we'll place like this now we'll right click and grow. Now we'll select this with the rectangle and we will press R to align from the right. Now we'll select and we will make a copy by drag and right click. Now we'll press Ctrl R to make more copies. Now we'll select all this with the rectangle and we'll press R to align from the right. Now we'll select one and we will ungroup. Now we will increase the size of the white rectangle now we we'll select this with the rectangle and we will press L top to align from the right similarly we will change the size of all the rectangles we will ungroup then we will increase the size of the rectangle then we will select both and we will align from the left Now we'll select all this and we will adjust. Now we'll select the shadow tool from the toolbar and we will apply on the white rectangle. Now we will change the setting. We will select inside. Now we will increase the size of the feather we will keep the feather 30 now similarly we will apply shadow on all the rectangles now we will select this and we will apply shadow like this on these shapes now again we will change the we will select inside keep the feather 30 now similarly we will apply shadow in all these shapes now we have all these details now we'll place this First we will place the name and the designation. Now we'll change the color. Now we'll place the icons one by one. Now we will adjust. Now we'll place the details. We will select with the rectangle and we will press E to align. Now we'll select all and we will change the color. Now we'll place the barcode. For that, we 
will select the rectangle tool and we will draw a square with the control key. Now we'll fill color and we will remove the outline. We'll adjust the size. Now we'll select the control tool from the toolbar and we'll apply. Now we we'll right click and we we'll select break contour apart. Now we we'll change the color of the square. Now we we'll select with the white square. And we will press E and C to align center. So guys, our business card design is ready. I hope you like the design. If you have any question regarding this tutorial, you can ask me on the comment box. Please like, share, and comments. And if you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. And hit the bell icon to get updates of my videos. Thanks for watching.